Kashmir Nair, I hope I've got the name right, gives you very silently a film that's just crept into the viewer market on the OTT platform without much advertisement. Sardar ka grandson. You don't even happen to see too many promos of this film. Obviously, somewhere somebody has lost interest in it. Sardar ka grandson. As Sardar is Nina Gupta, and in the role of the grandson is Arjun Kapoor. Interesting story. Stories about this grand old lady played in the title role Sardar by Nina Gupta who's a dying noctogenarian in India who lives in this huge villa somewhere in the Vaga border. And she's somebody who's left her memories in Lahore. She, when young, a role played in her younger days by Aditi Rao Hydru and her husband in the younger days, John and him, built this lovely home with a lot of care. Partition kills the husband and a very spirited Sardar bicycles her way to this side of the partition fence. In her dying moment, she wants to go back to Lahore. Amrik, her grandson in the United States, has just had a tiff with his partner in the packing business, packers and movers business. His girlfriend too, Radha, played by Rahul Preet Singh. Amri, that's Arjun, comes back to India to meet his ailing grandma. He promises to take her to Lahore but finds that she can't get a visa. She can't get a visa because she's banned and she's banned because she roughed up a guy in an Indo Park cricket match for the guy shouted at Har Bhajan Singh. Unfortunately for her, this guy is going to play a villainous role in the hours to come. Finally, Amrik decides that since he can't take his grandma to Lahore, he will transport on wheels the home she had paint Leslie made with all her heart. So he plans how to get the home on wheels to India. He gets the permissions. This notwithstanding has its problems. Oh, finally, he does it, is the story. And yes, he also has to fight the local mayor in Lahore, that is Saklain Niazi, played brilliantly by Kumar Mishra, who is none other than the victim who was roughed up in the Indo Park cricket match. How does Amrit manage? What are the little, little things that happen around it is what that 140 odd minute story is all about. Very interesting premise, and I cannot but wonder how wonderful the film would have been if only it was made in Malayalam. The Punjabi milieu is very essential for the story, but it lacks the depth. What it seeks to make up with a lot of his and energy also is missing because they don't gel. There's energy at one level, but it doesn't convert into the story. The script seems deadpan. And the manner in which the film is marketed and sold, you seem to wonder if the filmmaker himself has lost confidence in the film. This is not to say that the film doesn't have any take homes. Nina Gupta, fine performance. Ever dependable, according to me, Arjun Kapoor, does a decent role. After seeing all those roles that you see Rakul Preet Singh in South, dignified, holds on to her own. And what a nice, studied, classy, performance from Kumad Mishra. All this together add, not enough but add nonetheless. Sometimes in the midst of all the morbidity that you have, you don't mind watching something positive and it is in this context that you may not regret watching Sardar ka grandson. In case you are a Nina Gupta fan and I am sure they are enough because she is such a wonderful actress. Suppose you are one of those who stick the bucket with regards to Kumad Mishra. Do watch this movie. For mine, I also think Arjun reiterates that he is a much better actor 
than he is credited to be. Sardar, the grandson. Not a great movie, not something you're going to miss, but not something you're really going to regret if you watch it either. Bye-bye. Before I sign off, thanks to Datu and Abhinav. Bye-bye.